In question 1 of this exercise, we have to check whether each of these given equations are quadratic equations or not. So we are given 8 equations and in each part we have to check whether the given equation is a quadratic equation or not. So a quadratic equation is any equation of the form ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0. So in a quadratic equation, you must have a quadratic term, a term in which the power of the variable is 2. And if this term is missing, then the equation is not a quadratic equation. So let's start with checking the first part. So in the first part, the equation is x plus 1 whole square equal to 2 times x minus 3. So we'll try and write this equation in the form ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0. So let's expand the left hand side. So if we expand the left side x plus 1 whole square, we will get x square plus 2x plus 1. And on the right side, we will get 2x minus 6. And now the 2x terms on both side cancel out. And we have x square, we have 1. And this minus 6 I can bring to the left side. And this will give me x square plus 7 equal to 0. So this equation is a quadratic equation because it has an x square term. So in the first part, the equation is a quadratic equation. So let's write it here. Uh, part 1, we have a quadratic equation. Now let's do part 2. So in part 2, the equation is x square minus 2x equal to minus 2 times 3 minus x. So we have this product on the right side, we will expand it and then we will try and write the whole equation in this standard form. So we have x square minus 2x and then on the right side we expand this product, we have minus 6 and plus 2x. And now let's bring the terms on the RHS on uh, to the left hand side. So this 2x I bring here on the left hand side and that becomes minus 2x. So we have x square minus 2x minus 2x. So that's minus 4x. And this minus 6 when it comes to the left, it becomes plus 6. So x square minus 4x plus 6 equal to 0. So this is also a quadratic equation. So the equation in part 2 is also a quadratic equation. Now let's go to part 3. In part 3, the equation is x minus 2 times x plus 1 is equal to x minus 1 times x plus 3. Now let's expand the products on both sides of this equation. So on the left side we will get x into x or x square then x into 1 that's x then minus 2 times x that's minus 2x and then minus 2 times 1 that's minus 2 and on the right side, I will get x times x, that's x square, then x times 3, so that's 3x, then minus 1 times x is minus x, and then minus 1 times 3 is minus 3. So now we see that the x square terms on both sides cancel out, and we get x minus 2x or minus x minus 2 is equal to 3x minus x or 2x minus 3. So we don't need to go any further. We can clearly see that there is no quadratic term in this equation. So this equation is not a quadratic equation. So I'm just going to put a cross here, meaning that this equation is not a quadratic equation. Now let's do part four. So in part four, the equation is x minus three times two x plus one is equal to x times x plus 5. Now let's expand the product on the RHS. We have x times 2x, so that's 2x square. Then we have x times 1, so that's x. Then we have minus 3 times 2x, that's minus 6x. And then we have minus 3 times 1, that's minus 3. And on the right side we have x square plus 5x. And now we see that we have 2x square and x square. So if I bring the terms on the RHS to the LHS, I am left with x square 
and then I have x minus 5, 6x, that's minus 5x, and then another minus 5x, so that's minus 10x, and then I have minus 3. So x square minus 10x minus 3 is equal to 0. So clearly this is a quadratic equation. So let's write q in front of part 4. And the equation in part 4 is also a quadratic equation. Now let's do part 5. In part 5 the equation is 2x minus 1. 2x minus 1 times x minus 3 is equal to x plus 5 times x minus 1. So let's expand the products on both sides. So we have 2x times x. So that's 2x square. Then we have 2x times minus 3, that's minus 6x. Then we have minus 1 times x, that's minus x. And then we have minus 1 times minus 3, that's plus 3. So that's on the LHS and now on the RHS we have x times x, so that's x square. x times minus 1, that's minus x. Then we have 5 times x, that's 5x. And then we have 5 times minus 1, so that's minus 5. So now if we rearrange the terms, we have 2x square here and x square on the right side. So I get x square on the left side. And then I have minus 6x minus x, that's minus 7x. And on the RHS, I have minus x plus 5x, that's 4x. When I bring this 4x to the left side, I will get minus 11x. And then I have 3 and minus 5. So if I shift the minus 5 to the left side, I will get a total of 8 as the constant term. So this equation is x square minus 11x plus 8 equal to 0, which is once again a quadratic equation. Now let's do part 6. So in part 6, the equation is x square plus 3x plus 1 equal to x minus 2 whole square. So let's expand the square term. So we get x square plus 3x plus 1 on the LHS as it is. And on the right side, we get x square minus 2ab, so minus 4x plus b square, so plus 4. And now we can see that the x square terms on both sides will cancel out. And this will actually reduce to a linear equation in x. So the equation in part 6 is not a quadratic equation. Now let's do part 7. So in part 7, the equation is x plus 2 whole cube is equal to 2x times x square minus 1. So we will have to expand this cube term on the left hand side and this product on the right hand side and then we'll see what we get. So uh, we will use the identity a plus b whole cube. So that's a cube x cube plus b cube or 8 which is 2 cube plus 3ab or 3 times x times 2. So that's 6x times a plus b. So times x plus 2. So this is the expansion on the left hand side. And on the right hand side, we have 2x times x square. So that's 2x cube. And then we have 2x times minus 1 or minus 2x. So we can see that the x cube terms are not fully cancelling out. So if I take this x cube term on the RHS, I get x cube. And then I have what is the next highest degree term. So I have 6x and x. So that's 6x square. When I shift it to the right hand side, I will get minus 6x square. Then I have this 6x times 2, 12x on the left hand side and minus 2x on the right hand side. So when I shift the 12x term to the right side, I will get minus 14x. And then when I shift this 8 on the right side, I will get minus 8. So this is equal to 0. So we see that this equation is clearly not a quadratic equation because we have this x cube term. So the equation in part 7 is not a quadratic equation. Now let's do the last part, part 8. So in part 8, the equation is x cube minus 4x square minus x plus 1. This is equal to x minus 2 whole cube. So let's write the LHS as it is because it's already an expanded form. On the right hand side, let's expand 
this term this cube using the identity for a minus b whole cube so it this will be a cube x cube minus b cube so minus 8 minus 3 a b so minus 6 x times a minus b so minus x minus 2 so let's expand this and see what we get so we have x cube so actually the x cube terms cancel out on both side and we get minus 4x square minus x plus 1 and on the right side we get minus 8 minus 6x square plus 12x and this seems to be a quadratic equation let's write it in the standard form so minus 6x square when I shift to the to the left side uh, I will get minus 6x square minus 4x square or 2x square then when I shift 12x on the left side, I will get minus x minus 12x or minus 13x. And when I shift this minus 8 on the left side, I will get 1 plus 8 or 9. So 2x square minus 13x plus 9 equal to 0. This is what this equation reduces to. And this is clearly a quadratic equation. So the answer to this question is that the equations in part 1, 2, 4, 5, and 8. These are all quadratic equations, while the rest of them are not quadratic equations. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.